Hello everyone, this is Minecraft Light, and today I'm here with another mod showcase slash tutorial. And today I am going over Ancient Warfare 2. This is a very cool mod and it's very intricate and very uh it's it's a big mod, so I will be going over it in two or three episodes, not just this one. Today I'm going to show you guys the basics. So first thing you're going to need is one of these books to craft it like that. Um, not too hard to make and uh, then you need this research station which is made with like that and the engineering station like that. So what you're going to want to do is hold the research book in your hand while looking at the sky and right click. What this did is it bound it to you, your pl like your player name. Uh, not obviously like to your actual real life name, but um, then you're going to want to put down your research station and your engineering station. Cool. Okay, now you are going to want to put it in there, and as you can see, I'm researching agriculture, so I can adjust this how I want. Now there's only three things, but if I were to go into agriculture, it opens up animal husbandry and fishing. So, say I want to get to um, fishing, because I, I want to have like a fishing village. That'd be pretty cool, right? So I'm going to need 24 sticks, 3 string, 4 wheat, and 4 torches. So basically, what you have to do is you have to get the materials. So I'm going to get some sticks, um, string, um, some wheat and some torches and lastly some torches okay so I had to spell torches dang it okay and um, then you're going to want to put the items in and you will see that this little green bar will move like that it will consume the items so if you don't have very many of them and you might need them for something uh, do not waste them. Um, so then for fishing I would need that and so on and so forth. Um, you guys get the drift. Um, you're gonna need a lot of stuff. Um, it's not that bad though once you start getting uh, into it and you get some pretty cool stuff. So after that say I wanted to craft this crop farm right here. So we, we researched agriculture, so uh, so we should be able to craft it. So to make a crop farm, uh, let me just go into game of S. So if we want a crop farm, it is made like this. But you will see that this is not a regular crafting table. No, it is in the engineering station. Now if you haven't researched it yet in your book, you will, you will not be able to craft it. So you have to have done the research, that's why it's important to do the research. So let's just make this real quick. We need some wooden gears. Uh, so let me get some wooden gears, uh, some planks, um, a pre I'm pretty sure I needed a chest and an iron hoe. So like that. I'm pretty sure it was something like this if I'm not mistaken now if you wanted to make two of them um, you could do that quite easily because it's cool like that um, I don't need another one so that brings us to the crop farm now how does this work and um, how do I get people to actually work on it is the next real question what you're going to need next is this town hall block and it's made like that so let me jump back into game mode C and actually put this guy down so there's the town hall block now the other thing you're going to need is some food and to actually be able to get your worker I'm pretty sure you need to go into leadership uh, so let me just check leadership for you guys and it has all of the categories that you can uh, research in here So that's pretty cool It's not in command. I'm pretty sure it was leadership uh, So yeah, so we can get the worker and and you have to get that the town hall and 
a bunch of a bunch of cool stuff. And you will need food bundles to craft the workers. Let me just show you how to actually craft a worker. So after you've researched leadership, you will need a food bundle, two gold, and a wooden pickaxe. So that's how you make a food bundle. Kind of a pain if you don't have one of that animal in the area. Uh, but it is well worth it once you get everything. So we have our bread in there. And now we want to put down our worker. So let's do that. You'll see that until he finds his food source, which is this. As you see, he took some out of there. And now he's a worker, but not a farmer. So we wanted a farmer, right? That's why I have this hoe here. So if I give him a hoe, his skin change, and he is now a farmer. So the other cool thing is that when I place this down, he should immediately recognize it if there are seeds in it, which there are not. So if I put some seeds in there, he should immediately um, recognize it. He should. Oh, no, he's already recognized it. Cool. As you see, he started farming it, and now if I put that in there, he will plant them. Uh, you will obviously need a water bucket in the middle to uh, keep all the crops hydrated. Another cool thing about this mod is this right here, sides and bounds. So with the bounds, you can actually increase the size. Now there are some upgrades that you can add to make it even better. And then this, um, it, it'll show you like what the different sides are and how to, how to access them. And we'll get more into that when we go over next episode, couriers and um, actually transferring the items from your farm to, you know, an auto crafting station or something. So, um, he will eventually plant these, um, eventually. And the next thing I want to do is, um, set up, I need to set up the next part of the tutorial and then I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, I'm back and I just wanted to show you guys something real quick. Um, something that I think is really cool, actually. These, um, these farms will actually work on RF. So if I can get some bone meal, uh, there it is. I can show you that. So it'll harvest it. So if you do not actually want um, NPCs, which, uh, you know, they do cause lag a little bit, and um, they are a bit pesky and annoying sometimes, and slow, definitely slow. Um, they are pretty cool though, so I, w I would definitely recommend actually using the NPCs instead of using power because it's kind of cheap to use power on a farm that's supposed to be manually used, but um, dire circumstances, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can use uh, RF to power your uh, things, and this will come especially into play when we see the... Um, quarries next episode hopefully maybe in the next two episodes so okay next thing that we're going to do is plop down another worker um, now what's this guy for well um, I'm gonna give him this hammer okay he's now a craftsman cool so what do craftsmen do they use these auto crafting stations they're made like this you do need to research mass production, I believe it is. And what you can do then is if you put... Uh, so, okay, so I set this recipe up. And every time that there's at least three wheat in there, he'll craft it into bread. So if, if I grab some wheat from here and I throw it in there, he should... I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, there he is. So he's going back to work. Look at that. He's made us some bread. Pretty cool. Um, so that's really all I wanted to show you guys for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next part where we will go over couriers and quarries and other really cool stuff from this mod. So see you guys next time.